right uh, today we're going to remove the EGI and clean it it is hiding the back of the engine that side you know uh, I was looking for it everywhere thinking oh how can it be because I was looking at the pipe the exhaust pipe thinking there will be a pipe from the exhaust pipe that goes back into the engine no Citroen didn't do it that way they made it in the slender head that they sh they should be a channel on the slender head that goes back into the engine through the EGR uh, into the intake uh, system so the way it works is air comes in here that way into the filter gets cleaned and then it comes here get compressed by the table charge goes this way and then because it's very hot it's compressed it needs to be cooled it goes into the intercooler there then it comes out here all the way into the intake system there at the back of the engine okay so the EGR is hidden at the back of the engine normally it will be on this side but uh, Citroen decided to put it on the other side so to to take it out you basically dismantle the whole thing you know so that's what we're gonna do now you can take off the wipers and all the stuff to remove just this filter to remove everything that you see here to remove just the filter or you can just lower the engine put the jack underneath lower the engine down then you remove the felt it's, it will not come out without the engine or this whole part being removed so i'm going to just lower the engine you know remove these three bolts and the engine will go down then i will remove it so first thing first we take out the pipes this one the cover this all right here's another way of you know working with one hand okay we have to take one two three that's it now while i was here i noticed that my coolant has gone low it's not you know where i normally put it by here over this here so i wondered oh why did it go down now i found out that they say leakage somewhere so this is why i took off the battery to try to figure out exactly where it's leaking from so i hope it's not the slender head because if it's slender head gasket then i have a much bigger job to do you know so i'll keep going uh, i removed the battery i removed the covers here so i'm just removing uh, these and these okay Right here, yeah, I removed the box that goes here. Like I said, I I prefer lowering the engine and taking it out than ripping off all the stuff here. So I, as you can see, this one is loose. It's because uh, the engine went down. So I've tightened them up a little bit, these two, because I'm going to lift the car so that I can go underneath to remove the bolts for the EGR. Now, diesel filter has to go out this part here has to go out okay uh, you can remove this but i don't think it's really necessary remove just that i think removing this will be just creating more work just this and that okay so this and that then i'll, I'll fill my game because one hand cannot do all this stuff Right, we, rem we managed to get the pipe out here without uh, removing everything here. Actually, I nearly removed these. Well, I removed them because I was going to remove this. There are some other balls also holding this at the bottom. So I decided there's no need. So this can go back in here. Like so. They can go back in here. And I'll tighten them. This one as well, I'll tighten them. I managed to take it out, okay? Now there's a diesel pipe, this one, this one uh, goes here, this one goes right there on the felt, and then these two, they go in here on the uh, diesel felt. There are two bolts holding the filter, one is right there, 
and the other one is right there I don't know if it right there now there's a cable that goes here so you wouldn't see that one because of the cable you have to pull the cable out this is the cable so that you can remove that bolt okay I call them secret balls balls that are always hidden behind you know other things so this can come out now like so I need to get a, a tripod and a GoPro or something if one of you guys have one to donate that would be brilliant so there is the felt yeah now we have to remove this and uh, remove the bracket the the bracket that holds the air fil the diesel filter so this here which is a throttle body you can see a throttle body there petrol cars are the ones we have that did you know diesel as well has this so this has to come out and then the bracket okay the bolts are here right there that one there's another one hidden right there there yeah that one there okay and then these is just this three i think unless there's another hidden one okay so let's get it done right i removed the throttle body or whatever this is called uh, the bolts are here this two one goes here this long ones and then the black ones one goes here the other one goes there now they, like i said there must be a secret one there was another one coming from the other side uh, here at the back here so uh, I was wondering why is this not coming out <laughs> another bolt okay and then these two here they're just for holding this cable bracket here over here so uh, so yeah now carry on with the removing the bracket for the diesel filter right the bracket the diesel filter bracket is held by three bolts but I don't think it can come out uh, it's here the reason it cannot come out is because here they've put it around this here so it comes in so there's no way this has to move up for it to come out so uh, okay now I'll remove these for this pipe okay I think it's number 10 okay so that's how it is it wouldn't come out until this pipe has come out all right let's see the wood. Okay. No, it didn't come out it will swing like this but to come out nope okay let me just take uh, them two bolts now these two bolts here are for the bracket that goes on top of this diesel filter bracket and then this one is for this pipe but on this side and then this one this little one here is for holding the cable this cable here all right so let's cut carry on all right now here we remove the bolt but on the other side is a nut so i've put them here okay so because this egi is water cooled we're going to have to drain the the coolant i still haven't figured out exactly where this coolant is leaking from so yeah, i hope uh, i don't know what should i do here because I really need to know because if it's the slender head then I have to remove the slender head to get it skimmed put a new slender head gasket and then uh, put it back on so far I had I have no idea 
I need to get a mirror maybe see at the bottom there what's going on right I took removed the this is a 10 mil bolt for the EG housing at the top here somewhere here so yeah, it's still stiff so I have to remove the pipes this side and the other side go down and underneath to uh, remove the bracket okay right I removed all the pipes to make space to try to find out where the leak is coming from you know I, I can't find anywhere the leak is coming from so I think probably it's coming from the slender head gasket maybe the gasket is gone because when I look inside this you can see it's kind of becoming dirty inside so uh, you can see in there it's not supposed to be like supposed to be clean you see let's just look in the other car see how, how it is yeah this is by the other car that i scrub for parts and all that so you can see in the bottle here the bottle is pure and clean so there's no mess in here so if you see this starting to get dirty then that means that slender head gasket somewhere is uh, broken so the mess is coming here you know all the mess the oils and the smoke are coming here so you can see that this nothing it's absolutely clean let's see let's see again I will rub inside comes clean nothing so that I think uh, the slender head uh, gasket is gone on that yeah that's what I think I think the slender head gasket might be gone but uh, you know I might be wrong and but the question is why would the slender head gasket go I save the scar on time you know so it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Look at all this mess. I believe. Look at that. I think the gasket is gone. All this mess. Once you see mess like this, know that because uh, I changed the coolant, put new one. A couple of months ago, I cannot even remember when, but I always service it. That's not because of old coolant. It could be because it's uh, leaking, you know. So, but you know what? Uh, there are some chemicals you can put in to reduce the leak and keep going with the car because this car like i always tell you it's approaching 200,000 miles and at 200,000 miles i don't think this engine because these engines are not really designed for that amount of work they, they don't last long this tiny lack of power with all the egs and all that nonsense you know so they're not really designed for absolute thrashing okay so but i'll go ahead i'll change the eg i'll remove the eg i'll clean it and then uh, put it back on i'm going underneath because i just uh, removed the water as you can see the the coolant uh, it's in the bucket there so i'm going to lift the car go underneath to remove the bottom screw for this housing right there a water pipe and the bracket i think there's only three things to remove the pipe the bolt and the bracket that holds this thing to to the to the engine then that's it then i'll there's another pipe here i need to remove before going down there this one here this one here okay there's this pipe as well i removed it uh, from the eg here so we'll see i will just do that see what, how it goes if it's a uh, it packs in uh, then i have another engine i'll remove that engine from there and put it in here 
then uh, put timing belt, put new clutch. Because uh, that engine has done only about 55,000 miles to 60,000 miles, so 100,000 miles can come out of a clutch, timing belt, and also I'll clean the EGR while the engine is out. But I'll, I'll make a video too, you know, about that. So, so far, I'll just focus on the EGR, leave this. I'll sort out later.